the most terrifying medical instruments in history. The Treffen Drill. This hand-powered drill was used to carve into the cranium. The spiked center of the drill bit was used to establish the cut and then would retract to allow the outer teeth to proceed drilling. The Dental Key. In the 18th century, dentistry was a brutal and torturous practice. The dental key was invented to clamp down on a bad tooth, and by rocking and rotating the key, the tooth would be forced out of the gum with roots and all. The artificial leech. Leeches were such a popular tool for bloodletting in the medical field that this tool was invented. Primarily used for eye and ear surgery, its rotating blades would cut flesh while the cylinder produced a vacuum that sucked up the blood. Osteotome Skull Saw. This instrument was nothing more than a miniature hand craig chainsaw. It was originally designed to cut through sections of the skull, but later was discovered to amputate limbs just as well. The Tobacco Smoke Anima. Believed to resurrect drowning victims, this device was used to pump tobacco smoke into one's rectum. Doubts about the credibility of this tactic led to the popular phrase to blow smoke up one's ass. The Jugum Penis. Masturbation was once thought to be a symptom of a disease called spermatorrhea that caused blindness, retardation, or even sudden death. This device was used to prevent such disasters and is best summed up as a boner bear trap. The Louse Cage. To create a cure for deadly bacterial diseases, lice were bred and fed on the blood of the sick inside cages strapped to the patient's legs. The lice were infected with the disease and dissected to contain the vaccine. Bergonic Chair. This was one of the earliest inventions used for electroconvulsive therapy and was primarily tested on schizophrenic patients and shell-shocked war veterans by placing electrodes on the brain to induce electrical seizures. The Cervical Dilator. This contraption was used to dilate a woman's cervix during labor. The amount of dilation was calculated on a scale by the handle. This device became less and less popular as it often caused the cervix to tear. The tonsil guillotine. This instrument is exactly what it sounds like. A long scissor-like tool made for snipping off the tonsils. Replaced by forceps and scalpels in the early 20th century due to the high rate of hemorrhaging. <laughs>